Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Um, it's been a long time since I actually put a video out, and I know most of y'all probably weren't checking for me, but um, I did say that I was going to vlog a little bit about my last quarter of school, and I did do like maybe the first two weeks, but the quarter was crazy. The quarter was real crazy. I was only needed one class to graduate, but I took two because, you know, I needed that full-time financial aid. But... Uh, to help me uh, survive out here. But yes, I took a class on um, brand values and creativity and also a communication for advocacy. And just the work that we had to do and the group projects that we had to work on consumed a lot of my time in addition to work. So didn't really get to vlog much. My grades, so I talked about my grades before and I ended up getting a 3.9 GPA and I was so over it when the quarter started so I surprised myself. But I really want to um, clap it up for the teams that I had in these particular classes because, you know, they helped me um, stay on track. I always felt like because I wasn't the lead on things, like I wasn't doing enough work or, you know, contributing to the group a lot. But, you know, they didn't say anything or much about my contribution or that I need to do more or do less. I just was kind of like a go with the flow type person. I had senioritis really bad, but I'm not trying to slack off because it's the last quarter. So I struggle with that a lot these last few weeks, but it's done. I will have my degree in the mail in like three to four months, so hopefully I'm still here to receive that because I plan on making a move somewhere. If it's still here, that's fine, but I'm trying to see greener grass. Towards the end of the quarter, coronavirus became an issue, and so we had to do classes online on Zoom. I was so grateful because I feel like a lot of the classes can be taken online, I took online classes during undergrad and there was no way that we could ever um, have the same capacity that we have now with doing classes as we did then. Before it was just like, here's a PowerPoint, um, listen to this lecture, but now it's more interactive and you can actually see your classmates, see your instructor. So I feel like we didn't lose much, but I know my learning style is way different from everyone else's and a lot of people in my cohort and the cohort after me, you know, they're worried about it because they don't they don't like um, the online platform too much. And the basis of our program is more of connecting each other and having those interactions in class. So I'm glad I only had two weeks of that and I got to get out. Um, but I am going to miss school a lot as I am a student of life and I love learning. So, I mean, me and, me and education have a love-hate relationship. So now I get to have a little break. I get to have my time back. But I know I'm going to miss school and want to learn something else. And so... We'll see what happens. PhD? Nah, I don't think so. But um, maybe some credentials? I don't know. You like my hair? Oh, I had to flat iron and do something. I know my sister, my big sis, Mignon, if she seen the way I was walking around, would definitely be upset with me because I'm definitely one of those people that wash your hair, throw it in a ponytail, call it a day. But the puff got to be a little tired, so... I decided to take some time and do something with it. Even though I'm quarantined, you know, no one's going to see it but me. Well, you guys will see it too, but at least it's nice to, to look a little presentable until I go and get it cut or, you know, coronavirus willing, get a little, a little weave put in. But coronavirus! Coronavirus! Living with the coronavirus, it's crazy to think that the King County in Seattle, in the Seattle area, is ground zero for it, and my job still have required me for a time to come in until the most recent um, communications from the governor where he said, It's real! It's getting real! Stay at home. My organization that I work for is considered one of those essential businesses or companies that need to still be um, operating, but I know my department is not necessarily essential to those services with being in the building in person. A lot of the work we can do can be done from home, unless it's like, some of our virtual things where we interact with donors and stuff like that. So my mom yelled at me. Um, she told me she doesn't give a flying flip about my job and that I'm working from home and let my supervisor know. So I had to tell my supervisor what my mom said because she said, you know, you are an adult, but I'm your mother and I care about your health. And, you know, coronavirus is not ageist at all. So it's taken people from uh, the most vulnerable population of like aging adults, senior citizens to children. And so I've seen that the percentage of deaths with each 
um, not percentage of deaths, but I've seen that the percentage of people who have contracted coronavirus or got coronavirus is only off by like 1% for each age group, which is pretty scary. And for us to be in the epicenter of it all and for some organizations to not take their employees' health as seriously as it should be kind of rubbed me the wrong way, especially since y'all probably know I... I don't plan on being on my job for forever. So um, it was just giving me more of a reason to call it quits and um, more of a reason to be on the hunt for a new job. So this coronavirus has been a little strange or it's been difficult for me because early February I got into a car accident. My car was totaled and since then I've been having to go to physical therapy. And so it's like, do I risk being outside and catching coronavirus for you know, the sake of my health. The back of my poor car was just smashed up. I didn't even want to take pictures or look at it because it just made me so upset. But my car got messed up, ended up being totaled. And what sucks was like, I less than 12 hours ago, I had just got new tires and an oil change. And I'm less than five, not five, less than eight months away from having completely paid the car off. So I just was like, dang, things can't get any worse. But luckily for me, I was able to get my dream car that I wanted. I always said to myself when I graduate from a master's program and get my master's degree, I'm getting my luxury car. So I was able to get the car that I've always wanted. I kind of felt like maybe a perp for a little bit because I hadn't necessarily finished my master's program. I was weeks away from being done. But I'm driving around this car and I'm like, oh, I don't deserve it. And then I finished and I'm like, Hell yeah, I deserve this. So I was super excited. I am anxiously waiting to see what the future has for me. Still grappling with the loss of a family member and with this coronavirus, like it's made it a lot more, um, I don't know, just you're kind of on pins and needles because it's not just the older population. It's everybody now. Everybody has to be careful and watch out and be super cautious and and whatnot and I love hand sanitizer so I'm always sanitizing my hands even just because (laughs) so I wash my hands all the time no I'm not a doctor but I always have to use the bathroom so I'm always washing my hands and uh always keep lotion everywhere I go because these hands can start a fire like for real I wash my hands and they just get super dry they look kind of dry right now that is out of pocket like that is against the law These hands can start a fire, so I keep lotion everywhere, in my purse, in backpacks for school, in my car, at my desk, everywhere. So anywhere I turn at any moment during the day, there will be lotion there. This big thing about making sure you wash your hands was kind of funny to me because I'm like, okay, people don't wash their hands? Then I see in the stores like all of the disinfectant um, wipes and all the hand sanitizer is gone, but all the soap is there. So if you're ordered to stay at home, You can go in the bathroom and wash your hands. Like, soap and water works, too. But I feel like hand sanitizer is low-key like a cop-out. And the thing about hand sanitizer is that it kills the good and bad germs on your hands. So, normally I'm a homebody and I like being at home. But when the government says you have to be home, you know, I'm like, no, I want to go out. But I don't want to get the Rona. So, I stay here um, and, you know, talk to my friends on house party and FaceTime and Zoom But if anyone knows of any other activities that may be helpful to to get through this, being alone, um, please share because I'd love to know. Outside of that, you know, people be safe, be cautious, stay six feet away. I don't know. I'm just, I'm hoping everybody gets better, gets well soon, and that this whole coronavirus thing um, just dissipates soon because, not to be selfish, but... You know, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. I turned 30 this summer. I'm trying to turn up, you know, do my little thing. I can't do that if I'm quarantined. I'm just staying home. So I already have my sister, my mom, my um, my aunt, my uncle's birthday's coming up. They're going to have to party online or whatever because they can't go anywhere. So I'm just hoping for this. And then also, you know, I miss other people's company and especially being up here where you don't see a lot of us. 
missing those opportunities to hang out and come together with people that look like you has really kind of not messed me up, but it made me miss those times. Like I was reminiscing on the times I left parties early or I didn't go hang out because I was tired and wanted to be at home or had homework to do. And now I'm over here crying because it's like, man, missed opportunities where had I known I'd end up having to stay at home, I would have spent that extra time. But anyway, so if you know of anything, please let me know because... It would be helpful and greatly appreciated. So until next time.